That worked out great. So <clears throat> there's these birds that seem to be hanging out in this yellow stuff, which I think is called some kind of parsley, mountain parsley or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I might look that up, I might not. But um, as I was driving by on this back road, uh, it's a dirt road, a little bit of traffic, but not much driving by. Pretty close to the road, I saw some adult birds hanging out in that stuff, and I think they're killed here, but I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna look that up when I get home, and if I'm wrong, I'll put a little snippet right here. It's saying what I think it really is after I look it up. But uh, I'm going to drive closer to where the birds where I just saw them. I drove past and I'm going to go slowly and park there and sit quietly and use my car as a blind and hopefully let them get used to the vehicle to the point where they'll get comfortable and start moving around in this cool yellow stuff. And there's some other little blue wildflowers in there and stuff. Um, I'll be shooting with big lens, so it'll be very shallow um, depth of field. So a lot of that yellow and blue and green will get out of focus blurry. And it has a real good potential if I can get something good to be kind of fun and artsy with just a big splash of color with a cool looking bird in, in the picture sharp. So that's my goal right now. We'll see once I start going, but... Uh, I like what I found here, so I hope it works out. I hope the birds cooperate with me. The light is perfect for this kind of thing because it's overcast, so it's this big, beautiful, soft light. And there's plenty of light, too, so I can still get a reasonably high shutter speed to freeze any action because these birds are moving around really fast in this little yellow stuff. So I'm going to get set up and move down there and hope for the best. All right. I am waiting in my blind. So I'm in my vehicle. I, I parked where I think I'll have a good chance of the birds moving into the scene with all this beautiful yellow wildflowers. And I think there's a few blue, I think it's called larkspur. I'm not positive, I'm not a flower guy. But there's a few blue larkspur mixed throughout that. So uh, what I'm hoping for would be one of these birds to move through the yellow stuff and then have a few maybe one or two big blue splotches in there as well <clears throat> and it'd probably be all out of focus because my depth of field is going to be so shallow that worked out great I'm going to hang out here a little longer and it's my hope is that it as it gets more comfortable with the car it'll start um, giving me some more opportunities to take some pictures of it. I had a sneaking suspicion when I first saw the birds that they might have little babies running around here too and I did see uh, a couple of little babies. They're literally like this tall, these little furry things. They're just crazy cute but they're so small uh, I don't know how I'm going to get a picture of them. I'd, I'd have to get really lucky and get uh, have them walk, you know, just be oblivious to my presence here, which is possible, and then have them be in a spot where, you know, the, the grass is that tall or taller, and they're only that tall. So I'll have to get real lucky to get a picture of the babies, but they're super cute. So it's worth hanging around and waiting, because I don't have any photos of these cute little killdeer babies. I like this. This is fun. There's a storm moving in from the west, and it's gotten a lot darker. So it's going to keep getting harder and harder to shoot these guys. They move around pretty fast, and I need a super sharp shot of these guys. And the depth of field like is only a couple millimeters, so if I like miss focus on their eye by a millimeter, then I have to throw the shot away. So I kind of need a lot of light, 
and uh, some fast shutter speed, but I'm down to, yeah, I'm down to 3 20th of a second F5 ISO 800, which I think is still acceptable, but if it gets much darker, then uh, it won't be for very long. All right, I think that's about it for these birds. Um, they seem to have gone inactive on me, and there's a big storm rolling in with some thunder and rain, it looks like, coming. And so I don't know if that's putting them down or what, but it looks like it's about over. But that was fun. Uh, quick little quick little hit, and those are kind of the fun things you bump into when you're just out cruising around looking for whatever. I like this kind of stuff, too, because... I'm all alone out here, it's quiet, and I'll still hopefully get some nice photographs out of it. Thank you, little birds. Have a good night.